labelled one of the most treacherous bars on the eastern seaboard, Ballina Bar is only for those who know what they're doing. There have been many boats that have gone under here as a result of skippers misreading conditions, including tide, wind and swell, and also trying to turn around to avoid waves. Do not do this. Once you're committed, you've got to go, and you don't turn around. The openness and ruggedness means that waves, wind and swell can change in minutes. Common accidents that occur here include capsizing, collision with a submerged object or other vessel, grounding, sinking and fire or explosion. Boaties need to wear life jackets when crossing bars in boats under 4.8 metres. You should also check in with VMR and have relevant safety gear on board. Crossing on a low tide or run out tide makes the bar crossing far more dangerous due to increased height, frequency and power of breaking waves. Pressure waves also can be an issue on the run out tide when you have a huge volume of water moving into a bottleneck or area like a bar. comes a small tinny. Let's go.
Is it worth crossing a bar for a mackerel? No. <laughs> you made it out. Crossing to the bar. Let's go, Fanny. This guy's got in. He's got out, and one other guy coming in. That boat is smaller than mine. <laughs> Stay back from the edge, please, crew. No being silly, there's people there. Watch around. I think he's going to send it. Ah. Hectic Ballina Bar crossing. For Snapper, I think, not Mackie's. Bar crusher. Or is he going to turn around? <laughs> Turning around. <laughs> Got a little bit of a lull here. Is he going to go? They're both going to go. The kayak is having a great time out there. <laughs> Loving life. But turning around. Probably a good option, fellas. Though well, I do want to see that bar crusher go over.
Here we go. This guy will send it. He's 4.4 meter stacer. Overloaded with three people. <laughs> well, Iggy's gone back. And he's still considering. <laughs> and these, all these guys just send it in their tinny. Anzac Day long weekend madness. Through. <laughs> Stop backing down, he's gone out. Oh, that guy was through, let's send our attention to the tinny. He's gotten scared. His six foot waves breaking above him in a four meter teeny. And an overloaded boat. <laughs> Not the one that was trying to get out, he's still sitting there. Same boat though. Tinny's just floundering. He makes Ow. this. Oh, maybe a little bit of common sense. Oh, what's he doing? Yeah, common sense is saying he's coming in, I think. Boat versus wave. Yeah. 